Hello everyone, Sandy the Sunroom Stitcher coming to you from the gentle folds of the lilac thicket. It is Monday, September 11th, 2023. It's 10.07 in the morning and I decided that I would just do a short floss tube update or life update. Um, I don't really watch floss tube anymore. Um, it's just not what it used to be, and I don't like the way that it is. Um, so, but I do wonder about certain people who I used to watch and who are no longer um, making videos. So I thought, well, you know what, there were a few people that watched me and I just wanted uh, to let everybody know that I'm doing well. Um, I don't know if you remember, but back in 2016, I had the Bell's palsy and you can see from my mouth, because <laughs> I'm noticing from my mouth, that there is still some uh, small effects uh, from that, um, but not much. Um, having uh, my vertigo has flared up now, it flares up now and then, but for the most part, every day I have a little bit of dizziness, a little bit of vertigo, but um, I'm handling it. Um, February 14th of this year, I went and visited my doctor, and he told me that I was pre diabetic and that I will. The next time he saw me, he might have to put me on like a diabetic medication. And I thought, oh, hell no. Because my auntie Betty had diabetes all of her life and it was so cruel to her. And I thought that's not going to happen to me. It eventually took her life. And um, I just, I, I didn't want to deal with that. So I went back to Weight Watchers and uh, very slowly I've lost 30 pounds. Um, pardon me. It's a little bit easier when you're home all day and you don't have the temptations of snack machines and all of that. You don't have to pack lunches and all that stuff. So anyways, I've lost 30 pounds and I saw... Um, Dr. Chris John on the 17th of August and he was looking at the charts and stuff and he goes there's something the matter and I said what and he said I don't think this weight is right it says that you weigh 239 pounds and I said no sir that's right I I've lost weight and he was so excited so anyways um, yeah, you do get tired of it, but, and I've gone through about four weeks of not doing very well, but not gaining any weight. So I want to get back on it and I've pulled up a couple of recipes I want to try and I'm going to try and make it more, um, exciting <laughs> if it could be. But we've had a really hot summer and just and humid. And I'm not going outside and walking. But this cooler weather that's starting to come our way, I want to get out and walk a bit. And we are on quite a, a steep grade here. Um, so I have to walk uphill and then coming home, it's a lot easier because it's downhill. But I'm feeling really, really good. And um, as you can see, I cut off all my hair. I had it cut into a, into a pixie and it was straight as an arrow. And I think it had something to do with my diet because it was so poor. But anyways, the curl has come back to my hair. And it's time to get my hair cut again. So everyone in my family is doing okay. My mom is still marching on and that's really good. She's about ready to be um, 87 uh, in November, November 10th, which 
Also, we had um, November 10th, we lost our Yorkie, Noah, and that just sent us into, I can't tell you how, I'm still, I still grieve for that little boy. I miss him so much. And then Allie, our German Shepherd, she passed on June 8th. And we were didn't have a dog. And it was the first time in my adult life I hadn't had a dog. So we did try um, and ad adopt a German Shepherd, rehome. Uh, re re and this one, um, we'd had it two days. And it tried to bite me three times. And it loved Oren. It did not like me. And so we had the we had the uh, pet connection come and and pick him up because I couldn't live like that. We expected that there would be behavioral challenges with the dog, but not like that. And I didn't feel safe in my house, and Oren didn't feel safe going to work and leaving me alone in the house. So, and it turned out that that dog, he was a beautiful German Shepherd. Ugh, just gorgeous. But he had cancer, and he actually, um, they picked him up on a Sunday, Sunday night, or Monday night, and he died two days later from cancer. So that might have had something to do with the aggressive nature and the issues that we were having. And I was very, very, I felt guilty. I felt so guilty. So then um, we rehomed, uh, we chose another dog and met her. And oh my gosh, this dog is an absolute delight. Let me... Go back here. Let me show you a picture of her. Her name is Casey. And she is just a hilarious dog. This is, this is Casey. She's a yellow map lab mix. And uh, she's five, maybe close to six. And she's smart as a whip. And, oh, she loves her daddy. Uh, but our neighbor next door, we had a problem with them. And they threatened to harm her. And that, when that happened, we called the police. And the police came out and talked with us. And then they went over and spoke with them. And told the neighbor that it's a felony in the state of Missouri to harm to harm or be cruel to an animal and that he will go to prison um, if he were to to harm our dog he denies that he did it but he did and the police suggested that we get security cameras so we did we went with ADT and then we ordered a couple of blink cameras. And so um, we haven't had any problems since then. Um, but uh, it's just funny because they know the cameras are there and they behave themselves, um, except for he stands on his deck and we don't let Casey go down near the fence when they're out there. And if you go down there and get her, because she won't come up when she's called, he'll flip us off or, you know, just childish stuff. He's So anyway, that being said, we've had her for two months and she's fully integrated into our home. And like I said, she loves her daddy. They go out and play ball and he takes her for walks and up to the park. And he, when he runs his errands, he takes her. And uh, she is a good girl. And 
she just adds a lovely dimension to our home. And she fills a void, uh, but she's uh, not Noah and she's not Allie. And we miss them. So um, let's see what else is going on. Well, June, like June second, my um, my my aunt Sue passed, and um, anyway, that was that was tough because that's the time around the time we lost Allie. And, um, let's see, what else? We've lost, um, a neighbor behind us. He died and his wife is in hospice and she's, she's about ready to move on, be with, with her husband. Um, that's very sad. And then our other neighbor behind us, she has cancer and she's been going, um, leave my husband said second round of chemo so we've been praying for them then two neighbors down there have been two different renters that have lived there since we moved in here and the male renter the oldest male renter in those two different families passed in that house. It's just strange. So I know that that's life, but to have two successive men who live in that house pass is just sort of like while they were in the house. So just odd. Uh, Oren is bicycling. The man is uh, 60 years old. <laughs> he just turned 60 in September, at the beginning of this month. And he's uh, bicycling about, I'd say it is a good seven or eight miles. Um, there's a trail where there used to be a railroad line. And... Um, he and he's got a couple of friends from church and they go up, they bicycle up and he's just as skinny as he can be. And I'm very proud of him. But uh, yeah, that's. Yep. And he's just very active and has a good diet. and Which is wonderful because his older brothers he only his oldest brother is still alive but he had two brothers younger than his oldest and older than him my husband's the second to the youngest child in a family of seven or in a you know seven siblings and uh, <clears throat> he's lost two two of his three brothers, so, but Oren's in really good health, really good health, and he's a little bit younger than his brothers, so, um, let's see, what else, um, I'm not, we have gotten down to one car, I sold my Civic, um, and or uh, we bought a Jeep Cherokee, and Orin, uh, we donated his Ford Taurus um, to a charity. Um, we sold my Honda to one of my great great nephew's um, friends, and, he, and so he got himself a nice car. Um, so we only have one vehicle in the garage, which is nice. And uh, stitching, I am stitching. And let me show you what I'm doing now. I'm doing, uh, this is called Busy Santa by Stitcherovia. And there's 12 different Santas. 
and I love them. They, I had seen a vintage Christmas kit that I liked on eBay, but I wasn't going to pay that amount of money for it. And it had Santas that had curled, curled toes of the boots. And I think the kit was like from the 70s. So when I saw this pattern, um, I it really reminded me of those Santas, but it didn't have the curled toes on the boots. So I was telling mom about it and she goes, well, you could make them curled toed. So I just put a little, just a little backstitched curl on them. And I'm working on Santa number five, and I am enjoying it. Although, every Santa that I've stitched, I don't know if it's my, um, my ability to count his deteriorating as I get older. <laughs> but I've had to t tear out and start out for each Santa that I've done. So, anyway, it takes a little longer, but I am enjoying it. And what else? Oh, I've finished several things that aren't here. But um, I have been, I really have been enjoying myself. I'm reading a book about um, Ted Bundy. Well, it's not only about Ted Bundy, but a good part of it is, and I can't remember the name of it. It's, yeah, it's, um, the lawyer that he had, um, wrote the book, and it's really fascinating because it's showing Ted Bundy in a different light, um, and, Let's see, what else is new? Just enjoying life. Just feeling really uh, grateful and blessed. And, and, and enjoying what God has given, given us. Oh, and Orrin and I had our 12th anniversary in uh, June. We've been married 12, 12 years now, and um, it is football season, and our Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl again um, in February, and so even though they lost to the um, Lions, I was real happy to see that the Bengals had lost to the Browns yesterday, so now the talking heads can have someone else to talk about, although they love to, they love to hate the Chiefs. It's sad. Um, anyway, Orrin's still working, and I do have a group, uh, my Facebook book group, um, um, Needle Free For All, um, I'm still, I still have that and I still have a free design that I find on the internet post every, daily. Uh, so there's that and I'm still, although it's very sporadic, I, I do still post to my um, blog, uh, Stitching at the Lilac Thicket. And... You can always get me at those one of those two places. Although my uh, Facebook group, which is Needle Free For All, is a members only. But that's only to keep um, control of people who are able to uh, post. Because I have had people trying to sell stuff. Um, and so I, I require 
two things. One is that you agree, agree to all the rules, which is just, you know, common courtesy rules and that you type in or you uh, the question asks, what project are you working on now? You have to type something in there. Um, and anyone who does that, I'll just go over and make sure that the Facebook um, profile is legit. Um, and if it's not, they don't get it. I don't let them in. Uh, but anyway, you can go there. Needle free for all. So anyway, so I'm going to let you go. This has been 20 minutes and that's what's going on in my life. So I pray everything is going well in yours and I'm looking forward to the autumn. And so with that, God bless and happy stitching.